today we are unboxing the DRC 9206E. This is a 10th scale brushed four wheel drive ready to run RC truck. If you're new to the channel, welcome. My name is Troy. This is Roadside RC. On this channel, you'll see us doing the crawling and the bashing, the drifting. Sometimes we even do some racing. We also do a whole bunch of how-to videos and product demos along the way. Today, unboxing of this DRC. It is tent scale, four wheel drive. Well, there's a wing, some assembly required. We have tools, charger it looks like. We actually have some spare body clips, some nuts. Huh, that's pretty cool, a little screwdriver. And then there is the controller, pretty standard it looks like. Uh, feels like we've kind of had something like this before. Has a speed switch on it. Let's go ahead and make sure that's all the way up. Steering trim and then the on off button. Obviously we need to get some batteries in it. All right, and then, look at that. There is the truck itself. We have, what's under here? Full instruction manual. Pull this off. This side, oh, look at the battery. Dang, that's a pretty good sized battery actually. 1800 milliamp hour, 2S. Lithium battery, that is, that's a pretty good size one right there. Now you've seen us with some of our high boxing vehicles. Look at one a little bit smaller than that. You know, 800 milliamp, 1000 milliamp, 1800. That should provide some pretty good runtime. Comes with the Dean's connector. So common to a lot of chargers that folks will already have. I think it's interesting here, look at this. It actually comes with a spare separate clear body. That's kind of awesome. Now I need, I would need stickers and stuff to go with it. I don't see that necessarily in the box. So additional sticker set and everything would be go with it. But if you want, you can actually have a whole separate body. And then here, as we just look at the truck, honestly, pretty good looking truck right out of the box. Big bumper, which is kind of really nice. Uh, looks like it has LEDs pre-wired in it. Uh, you can see where we will be putting that wing on the back. That'll help it look pretty good. Let's get the body off. Looks like it has its clear protective film on it still. What do we have underneath here? We have a 540 sized brushed motor, another battery. So the note that is actually two batteries coming with it. That is a ESC and receiver combo in one. It looks like a fairly small servo for 10th scale. Honestly, um, that looks smaller than the standard 10th scale servo size, but overall that looks good. Um, you will see here, look at this, it has a center chassis brace, which is, you know, something we've also been seeing on some of the smaller vehicles that come out, really helps improve the rigidity. Metal drive shafts, front and rear, metal drive cups, according to the box, metal diff gears, metal center drive shaft, Dude, metal all around. That is actually really nice. So I pulled a wheel off because this is this is kind of interesting. You know, the tires look nice. I like the wheels nice and big, but I started to notice there's an outside and an inside to the wheel. So I pulled it off and check it out. It's actually screwed together. One, two, three, four, five, six screws that actually hold it together. But if I flex this, it's not a B block. So this isn't like a crawler B block. It's like the tire is actually a full balloon with some piece that sticks down in the middle that's clamped together so it's kind of cool because there's no glue there's nothing like that that's going to come apart for you that you're going to have to re-glue which is pretty common you know tires come unglued or something like that you don't have to worry about that but the downside to it is a replacement tire would be kind of hard to come by you're gonna have to get this exact same one or just upgrade the total tire and wheel which is something that people do anyway it is plastic hex, but again, here you can now see that fancy, nice metal drive shaft, which is great. You can also see here, this is actually aluminum shock, shock cap, and it says oil-filled shocks, but I'm, I'm honest, it doesn't feel like oil-filled. So let's get those open and look inside them. I simply just took this, I uh, was able to unscrew the shock cap. You'll see there is absolutely, it looks like there might have been oil in these shocks at least a little bit. So one thing you can do with this truck very quickly out of the box, just unscrew this, put some oil in it um, on all four corners, probably something pretty light. 
I have some ten weight, uh, some old ten weight shock oil for something as light as this vehicle is. That'll probably be good. I'm gonna go ahead and put oil in all these shocks before we even get started. Oh, it's looking pretty good. I love the color. Color looks good. So we have now officially put two battery packs through this truck. We did some jumps with it. We tried to do some rock crawling with it. It's not a rock crawler. A uh, couple things that we would note. So I put 10 weight shock oil in it. it wasn't enough. So it definitely needs some thicker weight shock oil. Uh, truck bounces all around like it doesn't have, uh, still not thick enough. It needs definitely thicker shock oil in it. Bouncing around, might as well not even have oil-filled shock on the period as it sits. Uh, the other thing we noticed, heavy delay in the throttle. So you hit the throttle and it's ooh, slow to take off. It's kind of like if you have a Hobby Wing ESC and you have the punch settings on the ESC set very low. Just great, um, easy to control. I think for beginners, that would make it a lot easier to control. Not nearly as dynamic of a driving experience otherwise. Total steering is a little bit lacking, does not steer great, does not have as much angle as it really could use. So I found the turning circle was very wide. I do like the lights, I like the big bumper. Overall size is good, it handled the grass very easily. I think it could probably just use a little bit more power, whether that comes from either the ESC setting as far as how it delivers the power or whether it comes from the motor pinion setup. There was a couple times, I think this motor in here might be, might be on, very much on the low end. There was a couple times in which the truck just actually like locked up. Like literally, physically, tires would not move. Um, I actually took the motor out and confirmed that the motor seems like it had some kind of play in it. Put it back in, ran! A um, couple other times it would stop. I was able to just like, it wouldn't go in forwards. I was able to go in reverse and then it freed itself up. So if you buy this, you're probably going to be in for a motor swap or something else like that. Honestly, I think this truck truly has, it's like a, it has a good bones. Like the metal gears, the metal drive shafts, the reinforced uh, chassis, like all of that for the price you get with two 1800 milliamp lipos already included and the charger included is pretty decent what it really really needs is it needs a brushless swap with some new electronics in it and this thing would utterly rip and if it could handle all of that then it would be really really great it just needs that ah, it just needs that extra power to really get it going so i don't know what do you think should we do a brushless swap in this i mean it would be all the electronics i believe which that small servo is gonna maybe be a problem so let me know down below should we do that uh, it might be kind of fun or should i just go ahead and give this thing away what do you guys think down below you vote you let me know down below what do you want me to do with it and uh but anyway that is the speed pioneer from drc the uh 9026 we will put a link to it down in the description below if you can check it out yourself um compare it to the other things that we've reviewed make your own informed decisions 
uh, as to whether or not you think it's it's worth purchasing or not. And then let me know down below what do you think we should do with it. Should we be making a brushless setup on it? Should we uh, just give it away? What do you think? So let us know down below and we will talk to you guys next time. Thanks for all that you do supporting the channel. And come over here, watch some other videos. In the meantime, thank you and goodbye.